Hi, today we're going to see how to create the halftone effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So go to filters, distort, and then use print. So here it is. Now you can change, for example, the color model to white, black, or black and white. You can also make it colored. So here with RGB or CMYK, I'm going to change it to black and white. And here for the pattern, you can select different patterns. So here, crossing lines, square. So now I'm going to select the circle. So here it is. And now in the period slider, you will be able to control the size of the dots here. So now, for example, I'm going to reduce it a little bit. So here, like this. So here it's too much. So I think I'm going to leave it here. And for the angle, it will control just the angle of the dots, direction where they go. And here for these sliders here, so as you can see, they will give another effect here. So here, so I'm not going to use these sliders here. I'm just going to use these two. So here, all the, just these sliders and then press OK. And now I'm going to remove the white color. So go to layer, transparency, and then color to alpha. So here the color I selected is white here, and then press OK. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it with transparency, then press OK. And now place it under the women layer. And now I'm going to, and now I'm going to change the foreground. I'm going to select this yellow. The HTML notation is EDCC23, press OK. And now I'm just going to drag it on the transparent layer we created. So here it is. And now if you want to change the colors of the dots here, select the women layer, right click on it, alpha to selection. So here you selected all what's inside the layer here, so all dots. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer, so click on this icon, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. So now I'm going to select color here to fill the selection. I'm going to click on the background color. So I'm going to use this color. The HTML notation is 021B47. Press OK. And now I'm just going to drag it here on the transparent layer we created. So here it is. And now go to select none. And now I'm just going to add some text here for the YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to select the text tool. I'm going to left click. So font I'm using is Anthem and the size is 250. So the justify content is center. And here the spacing between lines here is minus 100. So now I'm going to type my text. So the foreground color here, the color of the text is same as the background color. So now I'm going to type my text. So here you won't be able to see it. And then here. So now if I hide the background, so here it is. And now I'm going to select the move tool. So here I'm going to move it, I'm going to hide. So here it is. So now in order to reveal this text, I'm just going to add a long shadow, go to filters, light and shadow, long shadow. And now I'm going to change the color to black and then press OK. I'm going to reduce the length. Now here, I'm going to, so here I'm going to leave it here like this, press OK. So here we don't need this layer here, it's the black dots here. So for example, we don't need it, so here it is. I'm going to select this one, so here I'm just going to merge them down. So here it is, that's how we can create a halftone effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and uh, till next time.